What's up guys? Snowman here. Appreciate you stopping by. So I'm going to get back to making knife reviews. Or not making them, but doing them. <laughs> I guess it's making them. But uh, I'm going to get back to doing those. I will have, you know, videos of the knife builds. Because I've got a, an alpha tracker coming up for, for a client in 5160. But when we get back to doing a few knife reviews, I enjoy doing knife reviews. Today, I'm taking a little walk here. I'm going to set up down here. I've got two knives with me. They're combat knives. And I feel like these knives are kind of pretty much underrated, particularly one for sure. The other one, I think there's quite a bit of, uh, uh, quite a big following for it. We're going to look at that one and talk about it. But the one that I'm going to show you, it's what I call a sleeper. It's uh, it's just a really cool knife, very affordable. I think it's totally underrated, and I'm going to show you guys this knife, and uh, I think you'll agree with me. But um, out here, going to do a little walk here. Got my backpack on, and just walking around my property here. And we'll just go over here by my shop, and we'll take a look at these knives, okay, guys? But I appreciate you guys subscribing when you do. I'm trying to bring you more interesting content. And try to make things interesting, but I'll I'll admit I'm not <laughs> I'm not the best, you know, YouTube editor guy, and I'm not uh, I'm not really that good as far as editing and and doing all these really cool stuff with videos. I'm I'm a yeah, what they call a Generation Jones. I'm. The last of the boomers. You guys know the, the boomer generation. I was born in 63. And 64 is the cutoff. So there's some people out there who call us the... Uh, it's from 1954 to 1964. We're called the Generation Jones. Like keeping up with the Joneses, as you will. <laughs> if you will, as they say. But... Yeah, walking out here by my shop, and we're going to take a look at these knives and just talk about them. I think you guys will enjoy this. So it won't take long. I'll try to keep this video short. All right, guys, you are looking at two of my picks. These are combat knives. One could be used with some bushcraft. The, the One's a Glock 81 field knife, and we've got the Smith & Wesson S. W7S combat knife. We're going to take a look at these. This one is totally underrated. I want to show you this knife. The price of these knives are around 35 40 bucks. I think the Glock may be a little bit more. I haven't, I haven't priced them recently, but uh, I've owned Glocks for a couple years now. These two Glock field knives, I just think they're totally cool. I, I go out and you can these make just outstanding throwing knives. You can you can open a pop bottle with it. I mean, how cool is that? When you got a knife that can open a pop bottle. But the thing about it is, it's not it's not the pop bottle. That's just that's just an extra little deal that they give you there. It's the serrations on top. It's the high quality spring steel. It's just a well balanced knife, very well made. This is a knife that anybody can afford to throw in your bug out bag, your rucksack. You're going to be good to go for self-defense. And you get some survival notching abilities there with that serration. So you just can't beat the price of these. And then I put these, I tip these out. Gives us another option there for point contact and hand-to-hand -hand combat. And one of the things that I love about this little Glock field knife lightweight is the way it locks into that sheath that is just totally cool so we got the glock now here's another one of my picks for totally underrated this thing's underrated big time the smith and wesson sw7s this is just a kick-ass combat 
blade profile and that tonneau blade see how just the angle of that going back is, is pretty aggressive that's the combat style there's an Israeli knife that's made like this I can't remember the model but they did the tip like that very aggressive this is 1070 high carbon steel I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this one's a spring steel but again your price point on this is 35 40 dollars can't beat that I love that integral guard profile that Blackie Collins style it just indexes really nice and I've just always told people when I show them this knife you know right here around the homestead this is a totally underrated knife stays razor sharp and, now, and another thing that I love about these is the way they just pop in and just lock into those sheaths. Just really easy access. I believe the blade length on this is around five and three quarters to six inches, somewhere in there. But you guys check it out. Go research it yourself. This is Smith & Wesson SW7S. This is a totally underrated knife. I can't believe that more people... If you don't have this, you should get this into your your collection. You'll love this knife. Both of them. I'll catch you guys on the next one.